V is for vibing. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the LEC's first Anarchy Analysis here in Summer Split. We have a big matchup to cover in this episode, as we have the Unchained second place squad from Spring Split in Rogue taking on the squad who, in my opinion, made the biggest changes during the off-season after their abysmal Spring Split in vitality. This matchup is the true first test for both squads and as such it should be filled with back and forth action. So let's think of some V's for puns and load up into the champion showcase. As the UFOs vanish from the existence of this video, a wild team fight appears. After just reclaiming the gold lead, Rogue are looking to push their advantage by claiming soul point for the boys in blue. However, Vitality chose V for violence when they woke up and they too want to drink their own soul point. Now it is time for the super speed analysis. Odo uses Paranoia Tour, look for an engage, as well as near sight self made, forcing the UD to have to go super close to Rogue if he wants to contest the Drake. The Drake is secured by Rogue, and if we look at the two teams' positions, Odo is over the pit wall, ready to jump in with his ult. Vigo is in his Harrow Path, ready to jump in and kill the four clumped up Rogue members. What's more, Cog is positioned furthest away from the Rogue ready to fire in the living artillery and ranged autos with his Gwen, Nord, and Udyr ready to frontline. Similarly, Rogue have the same sort of setup with Gragas and Leona in the frontline and Varus and Lucian just behind ready to go pew pew at Vitality, to which we see this as they look to unload onto the Gwen. Gwen. Now, why am I emphasizing this? Well, the handy dandy W, the Hallowed Mist, negates all spells and autos from outside its range, landing onto Gwen. So why do I bring this up? While helpful for the Gwen to avoid the spells and DPS, Rogue see the V as versatility as they use the Gwen's W as an ability to land the culling onto Udyr, as well as the Chains of Corruption rooting down Udyr, which is vital to the fight as the secondary chains connect onto Cogmore, and that's huge, uh, to the fight as it forces Cog out of his DPS range to avoid the root and the inevitable Nocturne jump onto him from the Paranoia. Because of this, the rest of Vitality have to buy time slash fight in order to bring in Rogue to the harassment of the Cog. As such, Vigo, Nor, and Gwen jump onto a Leona, immediately bursting her out and killing by Gwen's snip. Snip. Now you may think, well, 
The rest of the fight is surely over now that Vitality have a kill lead. Rock. Rogue take their V for violence, turn it into vengeance, as this is inspired by a Gragas cast taking the Vigo and Nort away from their team. Granted, Vigo goes unstoppable and helps execute Leona, and the Nort pops up the Nocton and the Gragas into the air with his dev charge, stopping them from saving Leona. However, he could not stop Han Sama, with his arrows constantly piercing self-made as his E takes out the Man Bear Phoenix which then is followed up by his Q decimating Nort and Cog's health bars before Vigo becomes a woman and then explodes onto him. And he tries to use the CC chain that Leona has in her kit to burst him out, however Rogue has two DPSs, and Lucian takes out the Vigo as Varus flashes to safety from the Cog's living damage. From there, Vitality's V becomes vulnerable as there is no protection because Nort and then the Gwen and finally Cog all fall and both teams V's changes yet again. Vitality's becomes V for victims and Rogue's V becomes V for victors as they take down the newly made LEC villains. And with that, the game is over, our anarchy analysis is over, we can finally end out this video. Thank you very much for joining me in this teamfight breakdown. It was a good one. I enjoyed this game, honestly. Vitality challenged back very strong once the Gwen got two solo kills. Yeah. Rogue did kind of into little during the mid-game. But once they were able to get to them team fights and play them through perfectly, it was pretty easy for them to win this game. And I want to end the video off here by saying thank you very much for joining me in this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Subscribe when you're under if you want to. I'm gonna add in here. Follow me on Twitter at idol33. I post wrestling related things as well as league and pokemon and as such i'll see you guys next time where we'll be looking at tsm of fly quest peace out